On Facebook, I think it's more of just I'm friends with everyone, people who I've never seen, um, or really ever, once or twice. It's a way to learn about someone on a really basic level. I check my Facebook, but I'm not on my Facebook. I, I, I look at it every day to see if I have notifications, but I'm not glued to it. I'm unfortunately glued to the other ones, like everyone, which is why we all like have neck problems. And <laughs> Instagram I view more as like a personal online visual journal. I don't have as many followers as I do on Facebook. It's a little more private for me because Facebook at first was private, but then it became this monster, this huge beast. Instagram now is a huge platform as well, but I'm a little more hesitant and careful of who I accept and who I follow. My Instagram is full of skyscrapers and tabletop pictures with hashtag foodie on it. I follow people on Twitter and I'll search things on Twitter if I want instant news. You know, if I heard, if somebody just told me something or I know something just happened, I'll type it into Twitter because that'll be the most current, you know, before it even happens, Twitter knows about it. I love Snapchat. Snapchat I think is my favorite social media, honestly, now. Snapchat I use basically just like a quick little fun game. I like Snapchat just because I can quickly show people what I'm saying and then it's gone. So it doesn't, it's not something I have to analyze for a while. I know if I post something on Facebook, a lot of people will see it and they have like opinions about what I'm saying. If I take a Snapchat of, what I think something's just like stupid and I'm like, hey, look at this, it's gone. Snapchat to me is like a form of texting. It's um, a little bit more casual. I don't know why it is, but it is. So I like that too, so if like you're you've just met someone or a recent friend or whatever, it's a less like, I don't know why, it sounds odd saying it, but a serious way to talk to someone.